I recently got an FPGA development goal board, the Papilio Pro. That's the board underneath this. You see it here, populated with an arcade mega wing, which gives me access to the VGA port, PS2 ports, um, two game controllers, a few buttons and LEDs. So I decided that since the ZX Spectrum, if you don't know what the ZX Spectrum is, that's a picture of it, was a computer that got me started, I'd try my hand at holding one of those on the FPGA. Right. So as you know, if anybody that knows the ZX Spectrum knows the keyboard input's a little bit complex, so I had to use a little cheat sheet here. It tells me where all the keys and what the codes are on each key that I can use to map to a normal keyboard. Right. And there's the Spectrum running on my VGA monitor. Right. There's a little program there. I can push the R key to get the run command and enter to run it. Right. I can edit it to add a bit of color to this. Okay. Run that now. And we get some color. Change the border color. Right. What's missing from this implementation, I don't have audio yet, and also don't have the ability to load and save from cassette or audio files. Of course, if you remember the ZX Spectrum at all, you'll remember that when you load and save, you've got a fancy border color that sort of showed you the streaming of the data. We can still see that if we save. Of course, this is not really saving anywhere, but the ZX Spectrum doesn't know that. So we'd push save, push any key, and then we can see the spectrum is starting to output the data that needs to get stored to the tape. Right. And there you go. Hopefully I'll get all that implemented soon as well.